Wonderforest.com. Okay, students. Now today we are going to start from A to Z. A to Z of the Henry's law. Thus, right from the basics to the everything will be covered in this one lecture. Henry's law is a very important topic of the liquid solutions or dilute solutions or colligative properties. Like this, different books use different chapter name, but they are all same. Henry's law comes under the liquid solutions dilute solutions are simple colligative properties okay so in that henry's law is the foremost topic and important topic and very few of you knows that it is also called as a pressure solubility law what it is called as it is called as a pressure solubility law okay and very few of also know that there are two definitions of it okay there are how many statements two statements of it and both of them are completely different with each other okay so before starting what is henry's law and what it gives okay it is applicable or it gives the relation between okay what is the henry's law it is a relation between solubility okay what it will give it, it gives a relation between solubility it gives a relation between solubility solubility of not everybody solubility of only 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 gaseous solute okay solubility of what only gaseous solute okay that to only in liquid solvent okay so you should minutely observe every point you should minutely observe liquid solvent okay so one thing we know it is gives a relation between solubility okay of a gaseous solute in liquid solvent with partial pressure of the gas what gas partial pressure okay partial pressure of the gas is it understood so basically henry's law is a mathematical relation for a relation there should be at least two variable what are those two variable one is solubility another is partial pressure okay now solubility is generally taken in two terms okay how much of the solute can be dissolved per given amount of solvent what is solubility how much of the solute can be dissolved per liter per amount of the solvent that is called solubility here what we are going to dissolve gaseous solute where we are going to dissolve in liquid solvent okay so if there is any change in partial pressure how it is going to affect solubility if there is any solubility change how it is going to affect on the partial pressures that's why there are two statements how many statements two statements okay <coughs> so now i think you got the idea what we are going to study we are going to study about the henry's law which gives the relation between which gives the relation between okay it gives the relation between henry's law gives the relation between pressure and solubility okay pressure of what partial pressure of the gas solubility of that gas in liquid solvent okay this is what we are going to study okay as i told you there are how many statements two statements how many statements two statements and second statement which i am going to give you is very important okay okay now we are going to study about the first statement what we are going to study we are going to study about the first statement of henry's law here we are going to complete a to z of the henry's law if you go through this complete lecture no doubt let it be objective in the numerical form objective in the conceptual form so try to be very attentive and try to be make maintain good notes okay so solubility the statement one says that solubility of a gas in liquid solvent is a function of partial pressure of the gas okay so suppose we are applying more pressure okay the more mass of the gas is going to be dissolved okay so this is the mass of the gas dissolved into the liquid w is what mass of the gas dissolved into liquid p is the pressure applied over it 
the more pressure you apply more amount of the gas it is going to dissolve in the liquid okay w directly proportional to p w directly proportional to p so whenever normally we take it as a directly proportional is there we replace it with the constant and equal so w is equal to kh into p but this statement this mathematical relation is obsolete nowadays okay so the new statement which we are going to study is only applicable in the most of the numerical statement one i think it is clear simple more amount of the pressure you apply more will be the mass of the gas dissolved okay that is the first statement is it understood okay now we are going to study about the second statement this is much more important much more useful in the numerical much more useful in the solving the graph based questions so try to be listen carefully okay statements two states that to mole fraction of a gas in a solution mole fraction of a gas in a solution is directly proportional to partial pressure of the gas that means more gas you take more it is going to be dissolved in the solution more gas you take more will be the mole fraction in the solution so more you take more will be the partial pressure more pressure more will be the solubility into the gas pressure increases solubility increases now here solubility is measured in terms of the mole fraction solubility measured as a mole fraction okay so mathematically it is form is p is equal to kh into x here x is the mole fraction of the gas in the solution and p is the partial pressure of the gas what is p here partial pressure of the gas okay now here mainly conceptual question comes on the henry's constant conceptual question comes on the in this constant specially neat persons neat uh, aspiring students you have to be very careful okay which of the following does on which does uh, in this constant does not depend like that questions will be there okay so it nowadays it is possible because in the mains also in advanced also even in csir jr of all exams it is possible because almost everything is now conducted by a single testing agency nt okay so nta got a question bank in that question bank it may be if it is common syllabus to everybody then so common questions are chances are there earlier what was there different agency used to conduct different questions so different examinations different questions but nowadays all are conducted by national testing agency that is nta okay so hence that uh, we cannot differentiate this is a neat question this is a csir question this is a jrf question this is advanced question this is a uh, mains question like that okay so let us take here kh okay kh depends upon the three factor how many factor three factor De first two depends upon the temperature second depends on the nature of gas third depends on the nature of solvent okay so into what it is dissolved also decides the kh what is getting dissolved that is gas also decides the kh and at what temperature it is getting dissolved all the factors at what temperature it is getting dissolved into what it is getting dissolved what is getting dissolved all the three factors are effective for the henry's constant is it understood now in this three factor we are not going to study much about these two factor we are going to study much 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 about the temperature because there was a question there is there will be a question on the temperature what is that question just wait and watch okay okay this is the logic behind the logical questions conceptual questions logic okay whichever gas have higher kh whichever gas have higher kh solubility will be lesser okay higher the kh lower will be solubility second thing is kh depends upon the temperature kh is directly proportional to temperature when temperature increases kh of that particular gas in the particular solvent will also increases okay so now this analogy we are combining all together that means when temperature increases okay kh will what increase when kh increases solubility decreases this is most important for solving conceptual questions okay
so what is the conceptual question conceptual question is why aquatic animals are why aquatic species why aquatic species like fishes okay feel comfortable feel comfortable feel comfortable comfortable in cold water cold water okay rather than rather than hot water okay so if you put uh, if you put aquatic animals in hot water they are not going to stay for a longer time they are uncomfortable but the same aquatic animals when dissolved uh, sorry when put into the cold water they feel very very comfortable okay so this is you may think it is a feeling of that what is there is in chemistry chemistry is in everywhere okay now it is related to henry's law the main particularly we can explain this as a henry's law okay how it is simply in hot water that means temperature is more okay so temperature is more kh is more kh is more solubility is less okay we are talking about solubility of what solubility of oxygen in water okay in water liquid water is it understood so at the lower temperature cold water temperature is low kh is low then solubility will be high so when they are in the cold water they get sufficient oxygen for inhaling so if you are able to get good oxygen then you are comfortable and when you when the aquatic species which are available in hot water temperature is high kh will be high so oxygen amount per liter of the water will be less so they will get less amount of oxygen if they don't get oxygen they feel suffocating so suffocating means uncomfortable so this is the reason behind the why aquatic animals feel comfortable in cold water rather than hot water is it understood so like this conceptual questions also there for this this is the logic okay so every logic if you are able to understand you are going to give you magic results okay okay this, we have studied about the big things good things of the henry's law statement we have studied mathematical form we have studied and what type of questions conceptual question we have studied what logics we are going to apply we have studied but still there are certain limitations of henry's law we cannot we cannot use this law when this law cannot be used when 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 pressure is very much high the pressure which you are applying is so much high then there is we cannot use this law when temperature is very low then we cannot use this law when solute react chemically with the solvent to form different product chemical reaction is there dissolution is only physical like nacl solid nacl aqueous that is the physical process nacl when dissolved in something it will form naoh that is a chemical change so solute should not chemically change when it is dissolved okay and solute if you are dissolving one mole after dissolving also it should be kept one mole only it should not be even not more than one mole not less than one mole that happens when dissociation and association okay then solubility is very high or very low okay so if we need not to even apply pressure then also problem you apply any amount of pressure it is not going to dissolve then also problem so moderate solubility should be there these are the five condition where we cannot apply the henry's law okay these are the limitations okay now we are going to study about the applications of henry's law okay okay there are two practical applications of the henry's law there are how many application two practical applications of henry's law okay first one is preparation of aerated drinks aerated drinks means soft drinks like thumbs up coca cola spirit okay sprite like that all these are called as aerated drinks in that what is we are going to use liquid solvent water gaseous solute co2 okay so the we are using gaseous solute and liquid solvent so we can use henry's law if you want to get more co2 to be dissolved more pressure to be applied and oxygen carrying capacity 
oxygen carrying capacity varies at different pressures okay at high pressure low pressure high bp low bp that also explained on the basis of henry's law okay so this is all about the henry's law about the theory part now we are going to enter into the now we are going uh, numerical session or question session okay so henry's law theory session is up to here theory session what we have studied what relation it gives and what are the factors on which kh depends main main topic i am just revising you and how many statements are there which statement to be used in what question that we are going to solve in the numerical session or question session okay is it understood are you ready for the next session okay just if you wanted to do the questions related to it then we will enter into the next session for that next session i will give you the description i will give you the link in the description box so that question session related to henry's law if you are feeling tired you wanted to do it afterwards but i will suggest you to do it now itself the best work the best time to do a good thing is now okay so if you wanted to do the numerical immediately after theory just uh, you will get a link in the description box okay there we are going to study about the what the questions came how you are to analyze and uh, how you are to use this uh, theory to convert into that numerical as a result oriented okay how the question came so how people are misguided that all going to explain in the question session are you ready to be with me okay join the next session bye